in Czech and Bruma Mazen. <laughs> and the title of my poem is called She Was Beautiful Like Cancer. When I first met her, my tongue acted as a lighter as I flicked the tip in her direction while she held that cigarette between her lips, kissing it in a way that made me think to myself, oh my god. I have never been more jealous of a cigarette before in my life. <laughs> I refused to bite my tongue. As I refused to put out the flame behind my teeth as it danced with her addictive lips laced in nicotine. And for all of those who are wondering, yes, I could taste the death in her breath. But because actions speak louder than words, I was encouraged to go deafening noise that she's heard, for she had a heart of gold that refused to be sold for anything less than perfection. But according to my therapist, I am a perfectionist that will never live up to her expectations, simply because I keep asking myself the same questions over and over again. Can a mortician recreate her smile? Can the warmth that she radiated be brought back to life with a black and magic that she used to light her very last cigarette? Or no, she won't quit. But I like this. And I made the great mistake of turning her into my home, and right now I'm feeling pretty damn homesick because death has been ringing her doorbell ever since she was 14. Depression spread throughout her floorboards while pestilence knocked on the back door. Her eyes were nailed shut as her fireplace coughed up the smoke and fumes that dirtied the glass. Picture frame memories fade for her, not to let go of the past. Her paint was chipping while TV channels were skipping through the home made videos of her and me. Some of her dating all the way back to the day we met over four years ago. And while she was laying in her deathbed, I would do my best to remind her of every beautiful moment we shared together. Over 1,460 days of late night calls ending with 3 a.m. laughter. Over 35,064 hours of no regrets. Over 2,103,796 minutes that she has been living inside of my head and I am living proof that homeless doesn't always mean hopeless. All I wanted was for the light in her eyes to reflect the same amount of joy in mine we said I do for the first and last time. And before she could leave this world behind, she said, You know I prefer to be remembered in my God. So don't be the dirt that covers my coffin. Instead, be the flowers that make love to my gravestone. For as long as a part of me lives within your memory, I will always have a place to call my own. And to this day, I still see her burning and every flame released from the lighters of those who should know better. I can still feel her clawing at my lungs. Every cough I hear sounds like her last breath. The smell of cigarettes is more appealing to me than the smell of flowers. Especially the one living her once a year. And I have kissed smokers for trying to move on, but I guess. I guess it isn't really what I want. But I'm not here to warn you about who you fall in love with. I'm here to tell you to embrace it. Just let it happen, because I can guarantee you that if it ends, it will be worth the heartache. Because I will never forget the day that she replaced the end of her cigarette with my lips. And I will never regret the moment that I kissed her back.